So far, we discussed about universal gravitation law, the relationship between acceleration due to gravity and gravitation constant, and then the relationship between t time period of the revolution and the radius of the path. And last, we also discussed about the center of gravity and the factors affecting the center of gravity. Now, we are going to do some numericals so that we should know that how can we apply the knowledge we acquired by watching this video by learning the concepts in the chapter. Let us start with the numerical number 1. What path will the moon <coughs> take when the gravitational attraction between the moon and earth disappears. This is the question. So what path will the moon take when the gravitational force between the moon and earth disappears? So this is the earth and you know that around the earth moon is rotating in circular path because of the gravitational force between earth and the moon. Suppose at this point, at this point, the gravitational force disappears. There is no gravitational force. Then what happens? Then the moon travels in the tangential path and it goes into the space and never come back. That means moon disappears, escapes in the space. Next numerical. A car moves with constant speed of 10 meters per second in a circular path of radius 10 meters. The mass of the car is 1000 kg. Who or what is providing the required centripetal force for the car. And how much is it? It's a question. Read once again. So here what happening, the car moving in the circular path. So this is the circular path. Okay, and this is the car. It moving in the circular path. Okay, of radius 10 meters, R equal to 10 meters. And mass of the car, M equal to 1000 kg. Who or what is providing the required centripetal force for the car? Already told in the classes that when the car takes a circular turn, the centripetal force is provided by the frictional force between the tires of the car and the surface of the road. So the frictional force provides the necessary centripetal force. F is the friction. The question, the first question answer is, it is frictional force. Now, second part, what he asked that, how much is it? So, you have to find the friction force value. So, as I told, frictional force is centripetal force and its formula is mv square by r. Now, 
what is the mass 1000 kg into what is the velocity of the car see constant velocity of 10 meters per second so this is 10 square by radius is how much 10 meters so 10 so equals to 1000 into 10 into 10 by 10 10 10 is cancelled so the answer is 1 2 3 4 newtons so 10,000 newton is the answer next question why is it easier to carry the same amount of water in two buckets one in each hand rather than in single bucket see the two diagrams drawn here here the person holding the bucket single bucket the full weight the same amount of water is distributed to the two equal buckets and carrying in two hands now we know that in general experience that this is easier than this thing because here the whole the bucket weight acting downwards and this bucket weight influence the person's weight so that the center of gravity actually center of gravity should be at the center of the person but because his weight the center of gravity shifts it shifts so that the person has to bend the person has to bend little bit to lift the to lift the carry the bucket so it's very hard now coming to this here center of gravity do not change because this weight this weight uniformly distributed around the person so the center of gravity still it is at the center so that the person can easily carry the buckets and you can move in the forward direction 